Hi everyone, this is Dr. Bhatri Rajesh, Consultant Medical Gastroenterologist, Manpal Hospitals, Vijayawada. Today, I am going to talk about a commonly done endoscopic procedure named Upper Gastrointestinal Endoscopy or Esophageal Gastrodiagnoscopy. In other words, we call it as OGD procedure commonly. In this procedure, we pass a flexible endoscope through the mouth and advance the scope into the throat and esophagus, stomach and duodenum. During the procedure, we evaluate the mucosal status of the upper GI tract and if any abnormality is there, we want to take biopsies or any other procedures at that. Upper GA endoscopy is generally diagnostic or therapeutic. Therapeutic means we are going to do some uh, treatment for any illnesses of the upper GI tract. The common indications for OGD are any signs and symptoms pertaining to the upper GI tract like abdominal bloating, abdominal pain, difficulty while swallowing, painful swallowing, recurrent vomiting, unexplained weight loss and in evaluation of anemia. Endoscopy is generally a safe procedure uh, except in patients who are having a severe cardiopulmonary disease or any other severe chronic illnesses. In Manipur Hospitals Vijayawada, we have a dedicated endoscopy room with adequately trained endoscopist and nursing staff. In our endoscopy suit, we have advanced endoscopic uh, equipment with high definition scopes and monitor. And we do have uh, advanced imaging like narrow band imaging and we have a dedicated scope for children that is pediatric endoscope. We have a dedicated cleaning room for uh, disinfecting the user scopes where disinfection is done according to the standard operating protocol to prevent any cross infections. We have personal trained in cardiopulmonary resuscitation should there be any untoward event. The endoscopy is done in either local anesthesia or mild to moderate sedation under anesthesia care. The normal procedure time for uh, upper G endoscopy is 5 minutes, especially for diagnostic. If there is any therapeutic work uh, in upper G endoscopy, it may extend for 30 minutes. In uh, Manipal hospitals, uh, once the patient comes for uh, upper G endoscopy, talk to patient regarding uh, the uh, indications, the risk and benefits involved in the procedure, any other alternative procedures are available for the indication. And after explaining risks and benefit, we take uh, the consent, we do the procedure. And before coming to the procedure, we request the patient to be in fasting state. That means uh, after uh, midnight, uh, the patient should not have any solid or liquids except clear water. And the patient may take medications for hypertension or thyroid medications. We advise them not to take diabetic medications. Thank you.